Hey Yogi, welcome to class. Today I have a quick practice for you that can be completed in bed. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and when we're done, if you like the video, please leave a comment below. Go ahead and get comfortable, and when you're ready, I'll meet you right back here to get started. Today we'll begin in child's pose, so go ahead and come onto the shins, and then slowly walk the hands forward. Notice whether it feels better to have your knees close together or wide apart. Reach the arms long out in front of you. Close the eyes, take a moment to settle into your body and settle into your space. Notice how the breath is entering and leaving the body. Notice the state of your thoughts in this moment. Begin to invite air more deeply into the body as you fill up the belly, feel the belly. Expand down towards your surface, towards your bed or towards your mat. Exhale, draw the belly button to spine. Inhale to fill up into the belly. And now expand into the back. Feel your back move as you breathe. Exhale to release. Now with the next inhale, begin to walk the hands over towards the right. Shift the head over towards the right. Lengthen into the spine. So once you're towards the right, walk the fingertips forward. Really lengthen into the right side body and also into the left side body. You don't necessarily want to be compressing into the left. You want to feel really long on both sides as you're shifted towards the right. We'll be here for two breaths. Sigh it out. Inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale to come through center. Exhale towards the left. Walk the hands to the left and then walk the fingertips forward once or twice. Find length in both the right and left side bodies. As you breathe, expand the ribs away from one another. Move the bottom of the ribs from the top of the hip bones. Exhale, sigh the breath out. <sighs> One more breath like this. Exhale to sigh it out. With the next inhale, walk to center. Now, inhale here. Exhale to release. Send the chest deeply towards the earth. Inhale deeply, exhale, begin to lift the hips up off the heels, come up off the elbows, find your tabletop position, shoulders directly over the wrists, hips directly over the knees, find a neutral spine, the neck extends long, crown of the head shooting energy forward, gazes on your surface. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the belly button to spine, tuck the tailbone, bring the chin towards the chest, shoulder blades away from one another. Inhale, pass through center. Exhale, reach the crown of the head diagonally up. Don't compress into the back of the neck. Drop the chest down, draw the shoulder blades towards one another, shoulders away from the ears, feel extension in the spine. Exhale to curl, tuck the tailbone, draw chin to chest, press shoulders away from one another. Inhale to bring the ribs down towards the earth while still keeping the belly engaged. Send energy up diagonally with the crown of the head, Imagine you're pressing the heels of the hands back and the chest forward in between the arms. Exhale to curl. In 
inhale to lift. Two more times at your own pace. Really open into the shoulders. The next time you come through center, pause, walk the hands forward a little bit and begin to allow the belly to rest, the hips to rest towards your surface. Bring the elbows down. Bring the elbows beneath the shoulders. Tuck the tailbone. Press the tops of the feet into your surface. Now, energetically draw back your elbows. Imagine you're trying to drag your body forward in between the arms. Reach the crown of the head long up the spine. Oops. <laughs> Reach the crown of the head long up to the sky. Reach the spine long. Keep that tailbone tucked. Bring the shoulders away from the ears. Take a few moments to breathe here. Now, with the next breath, bring a bend to the knees. Maybe swivel the knees side to side. Notice how this changes the sensations for you. Exhale to relax the legs down. Stack one hand on top of the other. Bring the elbows out to the sides. Rest the forehead onto the hands. Now with the next inhale, we'll cactus the arms. And just a second here. Bring the gaze towards the right. We'll bend the right knee towards the right elbow. Expand that knee away from the body to open up into the inner thigh. Take a few breaths here. Settle into this position. With the next exhale, bring the right hand close to the shoulder and press into the right hand. You'll begin to lift the right leg and cross it over behind you. Maybe take a look at the screen if you're a little confused. So you're sweeping that right leg back behind you. You might lengthen into the left arm. Big breaths here. You'll feel an opening in the left shoulder. Exhale to release, come to center. Stack the opposite hand on top of the other. Rest the forehead on the hands for a moment. Exhale. Notice differences between the two sides. Now, Bring the gaze over towards the left, right cheek on the ground, cactus the hands, press into the left hand to bring the left knee up towards the elbow, and then draw that knee away from the body to open into the inner thigh. Big breaths here into that left inner thigh. With the next inhale, with the next breath, bring the left hand in close towards the shoulder. Press that hand onto your surface. Exhale to twist the left leg over the right. Maybe reach the right arm long. Open up into the right shoulder. Reach the sole of that left foot towards the ground. You can maybe even open up into the knee. And exhale to release. Come back to center. Place one hand on top of the other. Rest the forehead onto the hands. Bend into the knees. Swivel the feet side to side. With the next breath, 
Find your way back into your child's pose. Close the eyes here. Notice how you're feeling within your body. Take a moment to give yourself a big thank you for giving your body some movement, some love. Feel free to stay here as long as you may need. This is your time. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to practice with you again soon. Namaste. If you liked this class, please be sure to check out my Say Goodbye to Low Back Pain ebook, which I will link in the description below.